Hey everyone, Aaron the Black Dragon's back and I welcome you right here because we have one skill point to spend and with one skill point we just could get the silent drop. If I so decide I could get that right now. I don't know because that's actually all goes towards uh, silence right here and then more dodge and quite sprinter. So I actually love the dodge prowess so I think it's actually a good idea to start heading down this way to get that. And also we have some machine data right here. The map broadhead, there we go. We get bl they have blaze canisters, they have horns that we could shoot off and from them we get blaze, metal vessel and shards, sparks and wire and just some other good stuff. Also, which I haven't shown because we got a new bow last time, the Kasha sharpshooter bow. We have with that a new ammo type. Which is the Terror Blast Arrows. And I love those. They are super strong, super helpful and I love them to bits. I reached an level up just from standing around apparently. Oh no, it was just that. And I really want to show them off but at the same time I don't have the resources to make them last for me. Ancient Vessel. Oh, those are also collectibles by the way. So, the ancient vessel, Drone Hop, a cracked and battered vessel once dear to the old ones, shows a curious flying machine, sets an ancient vessel, sets of ancient vessels can be traded in Meridia, Meridian for valuable rewards, so also collectible for valuable stuff. Anyway, let's, first of all, herbs, and secondly, where's my broad hat? There you are my dear friend. Let's go, because we're now finally gonna start off dealing with the main quest again, which is over that way. So we're not too far away and we finally can do something. I'm gonna wait with dealing mo with more of the flowers and whatnot. Just a little bit. I definitely wanna deal with them, but I'm just gonna have things waiting there for us. What are you? We're also gonna check that out. Eventually again right now. I want to do a little bit of the main story Because we haven't done anything in that regard in a while So hi there Stratus. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can just be really up upset with me So we can ride close to the settlement right here the problem here though is they will not allow allow our mount in there so Let's go in here by ourselves. Huh. We already have two quests presented to us here. Actually three if you look at the minimap. Our little radar. So Let's see what's going on here before here we is. deal with anything that... The hero of Devil's Grief. Come here, girl. Been wanting to meet you. Okay, I'm here. Thank you. Who are you? So, you're Aloy. I've heard about you from the war party. The hero of Devil's Grief. One of them, maybe. I didn't fight alone. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it. But their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley, all by yourself. I'm good with a bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nor withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown. Relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. How far is the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley. And there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. 
Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. This is a curse only the Goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The Matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight and pray to the Goddess. Mother's Crown guards the edge of the Sacred Land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. It's little more than a heap of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. So you're in charge of the defenses here? I have Sona's counsel. Though she really should rest. Good luck convincing her to do that. Mother's crown defends itself. During the war, it survived 15 assaults, broke three invasions. We will endure. Trying to live up to glorious pasts has a way of getting people killed. You would know this, but I won the proving the year I ran. Like you, I started off behind, had to find a shortcut. I barely made it, crossed the finish line with a broken ankle. This isn't the proving, Morea. This is real. You miss my point. Getting posted to Mother's Crown? It was the boon I requested. My prize for winning. Trying to live up to the glory of the Nora hasn't killed me yet. But if it has to, I'm willing. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. No, well, I hope so too. The tribe need you. So, we have to clear out corrupted zones, but let's talk to the people that need our help here. What is your deal, yo? Drell? Sorry, wrong button. What happened to you, Hunter? Are you alright? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer. So intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. A cauldron? What's that? Ah, you're from inside the embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. There's a reason the Matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. But for a moment you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is, you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. You're a clever one. But not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. Fine. You're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. It's totally okay with me. So, in case you are wondering what they mean, it's this place right here and we're definitely gonna check it out. I don't know if we're gonna check that out right today or if we're gonna do this with next episode because I can't seem to recall if that was a longer cauldron. Because there's cauldrons that... Something's going on right now. And I'm back. I hope I don't have to readjust anything now, but I should look good. Anyway, uh, there's cauldrons that are longer and cauldrons that are shorter. I know of one that's basically just one platform and I know of ones that take forever. 
I don't recall how long the first one is, so I'm just gonna do this with, let's say, next episode. And, no, we don't need the marker. We're just gonna leave that be for the moment, but thank you for telling me about that. Let's see what other quests there are, because there's a bunch in here. Hey there, what's your problem, then? You're the seeker. The one who was an outcast. My hunting party... My party has... You fought the killers, didn't you? The ones that attacked in the Proving. You saved many lives. I wish I could have saved everyone. Did you... Did you... How far did you follow the killers? What are you getting at? Are you worried your hunting party has been killed? There are worse things than being killed. What was your hunting party doing? After the Proving, we were so angry. We wanted to strike back. And those corrupted machines left tracks we could follow. We caught up to them at dusk. We fought with all our burning hatred. But in the dark and chaos, I... I couldn't see everything. They stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, but my party is... Your party is... Gone. What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. I'm afraid... My friends went into the ruins. I can't go there, or... I will be cast out, but I can't abandon them either. Tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Find my friends. We were so eager to fight the corrupted machines, we didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please, have pity on us. Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing to worry about on that end, trust me. I'll see what I can do about your friends. Well... That's still the cauldron. I don't care about that. It's the sanctuary. So, quest. As you can see, we have to go all the way back here. It's easiest if we just quick travel to that point right here. And we're gonna do that because I wanna do... Side quest after side quest. Also, I'm gonna see after that loading is done here. So, we are back in Mother's Crown. All we need to do now is go up there. Our mount did not come with us. It's a little bit of a shame, but whatever. So, let's just go. This, this. There you are. Be careful around their feet, they can still hurt you pretty badly. They don't intend to hurt you, but they still can. So let's see what we can find here. So here we need to now use our focus to see stuff. Like that. Destroyed corruptors. Yeah. That's what we already know. Let's have a look at them. These machine tracks lead into the ruins. The ruins of human footprints. Well then, let's highlight the tracks and see what we can find then. So far, so not problematic. Uh, you probably will survive that shot, but that one should take you out. The normal shot is not enough for my current bone yeah, to take a wild boar out. But my sharpshooter bow definitely will deal with that. Oh, that's that's a bad thing there. That's definitely a bad thing. Oh, ancient debris. Have a look at that. Because in ancient debris we find some ancient stuff. And that's good. Anyway, I need to go over there, so... I'm just gonna make my way and ignore the sawtooths that are over there. Oh, there they are. Well, I can now finally show you what the Terrorblast bows can do, and that is 
Boom! Explode parts off of machines. Beautifully disruptive and destructive. Also, these are not corrupted machines, so I feel a little bit better about fighting them. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 Hi there. How about you just don't gonna find try to find a vantage point really quickly because just being down here with you is probably a bad idea, even though I could deal with you eventually. Okay, that's not a vantage point. Also, it's raining again. What's up with this game and wanting to rain while I'm on the hunt? Whoop! Ow. Rude. Also gonna set you ablaze again. Ouch, that hurts. That also hurts. Let's just stop that, please. Also, the rain... The bunny didn't get hurt from that. The rain does not stop the burning any quicker. So just shoot at them, burn them down, let them ow, feel the pain of that. Oh, that's a good one. Come on, critical strike. There you go. I hate you so much for your stupid timing right there. Oh gosh. Could you just go down? I have only one hit point left. There you go. Ow, 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 ow. Did not need the frost resistance. Lose some parts there for me, please. And while I'm at it, lose some more parts. Ow. Just... Okay, that was a bad shot. I said lose parts. Need to be careful. Ooh. Gonna try to aim a little bit better and not be flaming idiot. Ah, who am I joking? I am a flaming idiot. There you go. Oh, you of course jumped over that. Like a douchebag that jumped over it. Hurry up. Come here. That's only gonna be helpful for me. Critical strike, yeah. And big bonk. It's always important to go and use every single thing that you get used to. That you can have access to, to deal with everything. If I would have dealt a little bit more with setup than just with shooting, it would have been better off. And there you go. <sighs> Freaking. So. In case you're wondering, yes, I know how to play the game. I just don't choose to play the game the way I should. Why is everything around me right now so tense? Don't know, but if they wanna come here, I'm just gonna shoot them down. So I got hurt badly. Anyway, I helped you. Nearly killed myself for that as well, by the way. Come down now. <gasps> You're that brave who was outcast. What are you doing here? Your friend Den told me to come find you. Why are you up there? The Sawtooth ripped our packs from us. Uh, uh, me. Us. Without weapons, this was the best we could manage. Thank you so much for destroying it. Now we can get home. One thing. You won't tell anyone you saw us here, will you? I didn't. At least, not your friend. Need any help getting down? We'll go back on our own. Don't take this the wrong way, but maybe we shouldn't be seen with you, or they might figure us out. Well, whatever you say. I'm, in that case, gonna make my way back there and tell him that everything is alright, even though you two are a little bit of doofs. And I'm back! 
And it stopped raining. What is it with rain and the games? Anyway, where are you? I have something to tell you, my friend. Because your friends, they'll find them. I found your friends, you know where. They'll be back shortly. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a relief. You won't tell anyone, will you? Relax. The matriarchs are up singing the Hymn of Atonement. I think you're safe. You're right. The hymn atones for all of us. Thank you. That's not what I meant, but okay. Anyway, we dealt with that. There's still a lot of side stuff to be done. Also, we have a few boxes actually that I should take a look at. Because I have not taken a look into any of them lately. Special items, the ancient vessel. Just some stuff in here. Modifications. I should probably go and put some modifications on stuff. Let's see. What do we have? Damage or tear coil? Sure, let's tear stuff off faster. And deal even more damage. I mean, I appreciate damage a lot. Do you have anything here? More shock? Sure, since this is all the thing can do. And also shock for you. Why not? Just making my weapons a little bit stronger. And resistance and stealth. Range resistance and shock. Sure, let's do that. Make, a, make it a little bit more sturdy what we have going for us. And... Oh, the Red Eye Watcher. PSI overrides. Okay. Just get some stuff from that. Interesting that we did not take a look at that yet. Anything else of interest? I don't think so. Our level up is still some ways away from us. I definitely would need some herbs. Also, what do you sell? Maybe you have something of interest to me, Grist. Yeah, well, I hope you're looking to buy. I could use the shards. See anything you like? Sure you do. They always do. So, uh, traps and potions. Let's just have a look around here. No, you need wires and stuff for that as well. I'm gonna buy some full health because that just costs me metal vessels. Because I need the spark and the wire. So, on ammo... Terplast is the best thing, but do you just have like Let's give me the free sample I'm gonna buy the gamblers boxes there because I have I have the shards and most likely I will make them back from that Modifications sure Do you just have you don't have any of these How many travel bags do I have I have seven still left so I don't need that Banuk figures, I'm gonna wait with that because they are for the DLC, so I don't need that, but I'm gonna buy the map Ancient Vessels and the Vantage map. Just some good stuff to have that. I'm gonna come back for that eventually because they are not relevant for us right now, the Banuk stuff. That's all for DLC. So, is there something that I think I might be interested in selling? Doesn't look like it. Let's talk about crossing border with you. I'm heading for the border. You're a traitor? What do you know of the Karja tribe or their capital, Meridian? I've never left our sacred land, but I've traded with Karja outlanders from time to time. Too fancy for their own good, if you ask me. As for Meridian, it's all they talk about. A city built atop a mesa with soaring towers, high as mountains. How did the Karja ever come to build such marvels? Slave labor. But their new king has forbidden slavery. <laughs> I guess he cares more about justice than new construction, huh? Well, I'll be off. I hope business picks up. Thanks. Me too. Well, at least nice to know, nice to know about all of that. So many quests here, that's amazing. So let's have a look at the treasure chests, metal vessel and fast travel packs. That's why we don't buy them. 
Get some shards back from what we bought. Bought there. A rock. More shards and the shock coil. Okay. And then we have the map of ancient vessels and the vantage map. Which, uh, if we take a look at that, now we have vantage markers and ancient vessel markers as well. All over the freaking map. So you can figure that uh, rather sooner than later I want to come in here and deal with a few things so that it's good. Also that is a corrupted zone. That is why we did not come here yet. It's level 15 so I'm gonna deal with that. Um, and so my idea is maybe with next episode we're gonna jump in here right at the beginning and deal with the cauldron. And then, depending on how much time we have and how long the cauldron is, it is the first cauldron, so it should not take too long. Uh, we can probably deal with a few more quests around here before we then finally deal with the corrupted zones and move forward. Also, definitely want to deal with that. And don't forget, I want to have the time to pick up flowers, go to the vantage points and collect some ancient vessels because that's also something that's why I did not care too much about the flowers just yet just yet anyway I'm gonna leave this video right here hope you all enjoyed it and see you next time bye